Hello, welcome back. Let's talk about grief. Now, grief is the natural expected reaction to a loss. People think that uh, we can only grieve for a loved one, someone dying. And it's not always the case. It's not always a bereavement. Sometimes we lose treasured things that... Uh, uh, that maybe we love property or objects and it really hurts us and she's a loss and we should acknowledge that that one is a loss. Now we have types of losses. We have relationship losses like, uh, like death of a loved one, pets. Maybe you had a, a pet that uh, was like a sibling to you then you lost it. Broken relationship a friend you had, a spouse you had, relocation to a new geographical area. Like if you are working from a place and now you are, you are relocating to another place, that one is a loss. You will lose the neighbors, your friends, you know, your normal, the, you know, the market you knew, everything. It's kind of a relationship loss. We also have a loss of, of aspects of self, like loss of status. Like let's say, for example, you, you are a, a politician and then you vie again, another race you lose. You have lost that status. Loss of a job, dignity and self-respect, maybe in cases of rape or where uh, someone has just decided to, to, to do what? to datify your name online. For example, if someone splashes your, your nude photos online or something that is so much embarrassing, that is a loss of some aspect of your life. Some dignity, self-respect may be gone for some time, but we, we can always journey back to, to our normal. We have loss of treasured objects. That's why I was talking about uh, objects, property, lifestyle. But before even we, talk, we get out of loss of the... Before even loss of treasured objects, let's talk about loss of aspects of self. Now, we have people who have lost uh, body organs. That is also a loss of of self. Body organs, they have been uh, confirmed frigid. They have uh, lost their fertility. They are, they become paralyzed. That is also a, a, a loss of self. We have now that loss of treasured objects. You have lost your property. Even small things like you hung the something, your, even your clothes, your favorite clothes. Maybe you hung it outside to dry or something and it went missing. It's a loss. It's, it's a loss and it will affect you. And um, loss of lifestyle. Maybe you had better lifestyle and you have lost that kind of lifestyle because of one circumstance or the other. That is also a loss. We also have the uh, developmental losses, like uh, sometimes you are not any any younger and you want to, you know, you feel like you missed out. So loss of youth, loss of singlehood. You've, you've you've married or you are got you have gotten married. Freedom, loss of freedom. For example, uh, <laughs> when you are jailed or maybe when you get married, for example, you don't have the freedom maybe you had before doing just anything, hanging out anytime. You have responsibility. You have some kind of schedule to follow. A loss of adolescence. Yes, if you grow, you outgrow. Those are, those are developmental losses. You outgrow those stages. So we are saying that uh, the authors are losses. And today we are saying that we must grieve to let go, grow, and to make a future. You cannot just stay there and stagnate. Oh, I lost my my shamba to someone. Oh, I was gone two hundred thousand somewhere. Oh, I was gone this. I I lost this. No, you have to grieve, let go, grow, and make a future. We have to stand up and move. You cannot just stay there. Uh, in the name of I lost, I lost. So, let's talk about um. Uh, Mm, the one that really affects us to hide. We are not undermining any kind of uh, of loss, but let's talk about a loss of a loved one. Now, 
people do not know that uh, when you lose most people ignore uh, the process of griefing and they avoid griefing with all uh, all manners all sorts it is very important uh, to grieve and you when you lose a loved one and you feel like that one really hit you so hard and you feel stuck it is very important and people should make it no more to to do what to go and uh, get help from uh, uh, the experts to be able to grieve well to be able to 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 outgrow so that you are not stuck so that you are not, i was i just um, I, i just got shocked another time i was talking about uh, a grief of a loved one that i went through when i was in class 8 can you imagine i was just 13 14 there and when i was trying to talk about it i got emotional and then i was told by the expert that i have not outgrown i have not outgrown that grief i didn't grieve properly so it is very important to be able to grieve properly let's not ignore the process of griefing please get a uh, help from experts and i'm going to tell you the experts don't just go to anyone i'm going to tell you the experts that uh, you can look for for you to be able to grieve when you you lose a loved one now now it's a, a normal human experience or process to grieve and uh, you know losing people is just normal uh, a uh, people dying is the normal uh, life the way we are created we are born and there is a death to die so when you grief properly you facilitate healing in the good way in the best way there is a reason to worry when people do not grief after they are after they lose a loved one there is a reason there are people who who, who even postpone grief like they will I, <laughs> the, the postponement you you see someone they lost uh, people who are very close to them their parents their spouses their children and they they are the ones who are encouraging the others oh so jolly it is well and they are laughing and conducting prayers and reading you think they are strong then you are surprised a year later or two years some months later years later it manifests back it can even manifest um, physically they may they may get sick you know they it may bring even a kind of a disorder a psychosis psychotic disorder it can manifest however it wants to manifest however dangerously it wants so it is very important to grief now uh who does a uh, grief counseling trained psychological counselor psychologist a trained psychological counselor will take you through uh, a griefing grief uh, counseling and uh, we also have the law counselors with uh, they can do that with supervision and strictly the ones who have undergone the law training of grief work yes when do we uh, go for grief counseling one week after the funeral or uh, but anyway it depends on their avail- availability and the willingness of the person seeking the 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 counseling the grief counseling but we are saying it is very important i had i had another story of a very young girl uh who was taken to a special school recently she was very well i think she was in primary school grade 6 and uh, she had one parent apparently that one parent uh, passed on and the child after hearing the news uh panicked until uh, she got dumb she cannot speak to date and the parent uh, uh, passed on like uh, is it one and a half years ago so what was that it's kind of a disorder you know the the severe emotions that we talked about in our last video we talked about somatoform disorder this one is a conversion disorder that is uh, brought about by severe emotions i feel like she got so much uh, shocked and because of that severe emotion it it's it's a somatoform a somatoform disorder uh, in the category of conversion disorder that she got dumb she got impaired and up to today she cannot speak immediately after she was told the the news she was broken the news of uh, the the mice of the parent she got dumb we are saying that we talked about somatoform go to the other video somatoform disorder it's a conversion disorder and uh, it's 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 normally and usually it's as a result of a severe emotion it can be shock maybe can be a lot of happiness you know yeah so it is very important we go through grief work 
uh, grief uh, counseling and uh, we should also learn how to break news to people when other people other loved ones have have been lost so we are saying one week after the funeral people who are affected should seek a, a grief counseling and uh, we are saying that one it depends on the availability and the willingness of the people who are seeking uh, help so we have made about a uh, death we have i have heard a lot a lot imagine uh, when you tell uh, someone that oh i have lots and then they start saying oh it's god's punishment people say talk a lot let's look at some of the myths our people in the society number one some people say that it's god's plan you know when someone has lost a loved one and then you're telling them it's god's plan are you for real <laughs> they will wonder, wonder oh, which God, and some people even start questioning God, and it is allowed when whenever someone is griefing, we say it, give them the, the the freedom to question anything and to to do anything as long as they are willing to go seek help and pick themselves from wherever they are so that they are not stuck there forever. So we are saying people sometimes say it's God's plan, that it's God's harvesting time, that God has come to harvest His plants. Which plants? <laughs> it is very wrong. We should be very careful when we are responding uh, to people who are uh, grieving. Some people say it's the evil spirit, it's the bad spirit, it's witchcraft, my friend. Unless it's proven. Why are you saying it's witchcraft? Some women in some country I had saying some other gender caused death, you know. Other people I had them saying that you you don't have enough faith. Mm, they because some some someone was grieving. Christians don't grieve. No, let people grieve. Mm, Christians sh at shouldn't mourn. Let people mourn. Let people cry. Let people say what they want to say so that they will get a. Uh, they will not get stuck there. Uh, in some other uh, um, stories, is that people say in the society that men shouldn't cry. Please, please, our men. Let, let's cry. Grief. Moan. Who said that men shouldn't cry? That's a myth. It's not proven. It's just the way we have hardened our men. And we are very hard on them. We don't want them to be. No. We want them to suppress the, th those feelings so that they can manifest into other dangerous diseases or disorders later. It's very dangerous. Let people moan. So other people say that de death is for the cowards. No, we are all candidates, my friend. Hmm? Other says it's a journey and you make even the people who are grieving grieve more and more and feel bad and worse. Saying that it's a journey, you know, it's another wedding with the, the lamb. <laughs> Other says that God, it's God punishment, it's a God's punishment for sin. Others say that graph has been drawn, but the graph but before you are, you are born is drawn, really, that God knows the plan. All right, it's okay. God knows the plan, but don't go telling people that the graph has been drawn. Eh? Other people uh, will tell you, pray, pray, pray. Prayer will get you out of grief. It is true, but then allow people to grieve. What we are saying is allow people to grieve. Don't let people suppress the, their mourning. Let people mourn. Uh, others say that you are mourning, you lack faith. Hmm? When you cry, you do not trust God. No, cry. You trust God. We know you do. But this one is a loss. We are on earth, not yet in heaven. Eh? There is no death without a cause. Yeah, made. People saying, eh? there is no death without a cause. Who told you? Why, why are you saying that? Hmm? It is bad luck. Ah! Someone lo loses someone in the family and you're saying, oh, your family has got bad luck. You're losing one person. To the Those ones are mates. Please keep quiet. Don't tell people that. A person has been caught by the ancestors who told you they are going to the ancestors. Hmm? At a, a, a person, uh, if you are a widow, grief like other widows, be uniform. Oh, You're telling another widow who has just lost there and you're telling them that. Hmm? So mates can really complicate the process of grief. It can really uh, complicate the process of grief. Let people be. Let people grieve. We are saying we must grieve to let go, grow, and to make a future. You don't want uh, to, to do what? Uh, to, to, 
to torture people with these maids. So what, what happens when we lose a loved one? We go through uh, the process of griefing. First of all, we get shocked. When you're told that Flan Flan is not no longer there, the first reaction is that you get shocked. Oh my, what? Like you get shocked. The, the one that follows is that you get into a denial. They cannot be dead. It's not them. No, that can't be. Uh, these people are confused. They don't know what they're saying. You get into the process of denial and then you, you go growing, you grow, you grow. But if you get uh, stagnated or fixated at one uh, stage, that one is a red flag. Like we said, it's very good to seek help so that someone, uh, a professional, can walk with you through this journey. So the third one, we say the first one is shock. The second one is denial. The third one is bargaining. If I had done this, I wish I, I was good to them when they were alive. Why didn't I do this? Others will die even with guilt. I didn't uh, go visit them in the hospital. Oh my God. I wasn't calling them every day. Oh, when they had asked me for money, I, oh my God, were they having enough medication? You bargain. If I had done this, maybe this person wouldn't have died. It's bargaining. Oh my God, I, I had done this. If I had done this, if I had done this, if, if, but then cannot bring the person back. After bargaining, if, if, and bargaining and bargaining, you get to acceptance. Where now you accept uh, that this person is no longer alive. And uh, life has to go on. And it is at this point that uh, you, you you are able to get uh, uh, to move on and not uh, to get unstuck from wherever you had stuck and to move on. And this is a good achievement. When you accept, everything else will flow because there's nothing else humanly possible to bring the loved one uh, back. If you are going through a grief right now, a loss, uh, receive my condolences and please consider uh, seeking help from a qualified uh, uh, personnel so that they can journey you there. Don't get stuck. Don't uh, wait for the grief to manifest in the diseases or other disorders. Don't die alone. Seek help. It is very, very important. So we are saying these four stages of griefing, the shock, denial, beginning, and acceptance shouldn't take too long. If there's, they get so much prolonged, then they, they might manifest into other things. Don't really push them so much. Uh, it, they are going to disturb you. They may manifest in, the, in other form of problems. Until next time, bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.